Welcome to Movie Speeching. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take good care. SOZ Soldiers or Zombies is the name of the movie. Please like and subscribe to get every update. In New Mexico, a family runs through the desert with a smuggler who pulls out a gun and demands money to get them to the border. Suddenly they saw a figure in the distance and assumed it was the border patrol, but the soldier ran down the hill within seconds and jumped on the man to eat him. It started two days ago at a military base also in New Mexico. Dr. Snowman is experimenting on pigs when he is suddenly interrupted by Commander Murdoch, who reminds him that an important visit is coming and they need the results soon. Meanwhile, at a prison in Mexico, prisoner Alonso surprises him with a song and a cake to celebrate celebrate his birthday but also to say goodbye because he is being extradited. After giving his speech, he noticed the arrival of a new guard and went to chat with him, offering him a drink and teasing him because he saw he was a former soldier, which it's doubtful. Outside, reporter Lilia reports on Alonzo's extradition, explaining that he is the most dangerous drug trafficker in Mexico. He was arrested four years ago while dining at a luxury restaurant and is said to still be running his business from prison so as not to lose to a rival gang called the Apostles. His wife died of a rare disease and there is no information about their only child. Alonso went to this special prison because no one had ever escaped from it. In the bathroom, agents Becerra and Cruz began to get angry, knowing that they would be fired if anyone saw them. They then returned to their team, where Becerra reminds them that they will be transporting a very dangerous criminal. At the same time, two DEA agents in Texas were also preparing to pick up Alonso. Meanwhile, at Paradise Rehabilitation Center in New Mexico, Dr. Henry explains to a patient that renovations will take several months and that is why they are vacating the place. At that moment, he received a call from his cousin Alonso, who turned on the radio loudly so that the police would not suspect anything. Henry promises that he has the place to himself and Alonso informs him that he will begin his vacation today. Sometime later, a senator arrives at the base and meets Snowman, who explains his experiments. He used insects' ability to not feel pain to develop a serum that created superhumans. Combatant. To demonstrate, he injected the serum into a pig, but it just vomited and died. The senator was furious with Murdoch for wasting his time and told him they only had a week to come up with results or the show would be over. After he leaves, Murdoch yells at Snowman, telling him to fix this or he will be blacklisted. Sometime later, Snowman injected another pig and it quickly passed out. Sergeant Valencia thought he was still alive, but Murdoch grabbed him and threw him away before ordering him to carry away all the dead animals. After he left, Snowman picked up the pig and separated it from the others to give it a double dose. Later, in the middle of the desert, Valencia dumped all the dead pigs and was so surprised to discover that one of them was still alive so she set it free. Returning to Lilia, she disguised herself, carrying a camera and a toy gun. She then goes to the prison and while waiting in line for tourists, she puts a toy gun in another tourist's pocket before yelling that the guy is armed. As people panic and the police respond, she steals a guest's card and goes inside without losing her camera. Lilia followed the other women into the conjugal visitation area while various guards in the prison received word that it was time and Warden Contreras turned off all security cameras. The new guard entered the cell and shot at the bed, but it was only one bullet. Alonso had anticipated it and attacked him from behind. A fight ensued and after exchanging many blows, Alonso overpowered the guard and killed him with his own weapon. He then escaped through a hole under the toilet. So when the agents arrived at the cell, they only found the body of the guard. Lilia took out her camera intending to interview Alonso, but instead, she filmed the prison sounding the alarm about an escaped prisoner. Alonso meets one of his gang members and together they escaped by motorcycle. In the desert, a hungry wild dog approached a dead pig to eat its meat, but suddenly the pig opened its strange eyes. At that moment, all the other pigs also appeared with strange expressions and jumped on the dog to brutally eat it. After eating, they smelled another potential victim and ran into the sewer tunnel. In the prison, Becerra asks Contreras about the new guard, but he claims to know nothing. Becerra then noticed the toilet seemed strangely clean and moved it to explore the secret tunnel. So he announced that this was his case and threatened Contreras, telling him not to let anyone follow his team. All of this was recorded by Lilia, but the guards found her and took the camera away. Contreras wanted to stop her, but she pointed out that it would put her in the news and therefore it would also go viral, so they let her go. As Becerra and his team began searching the tunnel, the DEA learned of the escape and began a chase. Afterwards, Alonso reunites with his old gang and tells them that the guard who tried to kill them was probably sent by the apostles. He then finds his son Lucas, who refuses to hug him and reminds his father that he abandoned him. After the group placed explosives in the room, they left. So when Becerra's team arrived, the place was empty. As they looked around, the explosives detonated and blew up the room, causing it to instantly collapse. Seconds later, they woke up and confirmed that everyone was alive, although some were injured. At that moment, the pigs arrived and jumped on the agents, who immediately opened fire. Anyway, the pigs approached them and began eating the soldiers, whose bodies slowly died but also began to look eerily like pigs. Back at the lab, Snowman mixed the serum with his recreational
additional powder and injected it into the pig, but it also died. However, after Snowman left the room, the pig suddenly woke up and began acting frantically, shaking the cage until it opened so it could escape. Then he jumped into other pens and started killing other pigs. Snowman returned, and as soon as he saw the carnage, he hastily took Murdoch with him and told him of his success. He knew he needed to adjust the serum to escape the cannibalism, and he asked for the pigs that had been thrown away because he was sure they weren't dead after all. Outside the prison, Lilia continues to report on the escape and sends a text message to Alonso, saying she is ready to hear his truth. Meanwhile, Alonso and the group go through a tunnel, and Lucas becomes angry when his father refuses to teach him how to shoot a gun. They eventually find a staircase and exit through a hole that leads them to the rehabilitation center on the American side, where Henry will allow them to hide. He even prepared a room for Lucas, but he wasn't happy. They were the wrong age and the game was too childish for him, and he also hated being in a remote place with a bunch of old men. He wants to go back to his old school and play with his friends. Moments later, the unconscious soldiers awaken underground, revealing that they are now zombies. They could still say a few words, so they repeated Alonzo's name while digging their way out of the tunnel and began running through the desert to find him. When they came across a door, they used their newfound strength to bend the metal bars and continue on their way. When they found a snake, they killed it and ate it. Nearby, Snowman and Valencia went to look for the pig and found the dog's body. Just then, a growling pig comes back from the tunnel with a bloody face and Valencia wants to shoot it, but Snowman stops him. They slowly approach the animal that suddenly rushed to attack, but luckily Valencia caught up in time. That evening, the Secretary of State spoke to the press and Lilia asked about rumors that Alonso had received internal help. If true, the Secretary promised there would be consequences. Contreras saw this on television and became worried. Then he received a call from the Prophet of the Apostles, telling him that he had 48 hours to correct his mistake. The next day, Lucas lied to Dog and said that his father agreed to let him learn how to shoot a gun, so Dog taught him. Alonso learned of this and decided to allow it, even congratulating Lucas for his beautiful goal. Alonso then ordered his men to always be ready for a possible attack as he was certain that the apostles would try again and even suspected that there were traitors among them. Meanwhile, at a prison in Texas, a prisoner named El Romeo complains about the food and insults the guard, but before things escalate, another guard informs him that Romeo has a prisoner. Yet it's Joel from the DEA, who knows that Romeo is Alonzo's best friend, and that it's his fault that Romeo is in jail. Joel almost caught Alonzo once, but lost him, so now he's so desperate to win the chase that he offers Romeo a deal, 4,444 freedoms in exchange for helping him find Alonzo. Romeo agrees, as long as he is the one to kill Alonzo. They then prepare to cross the border while Romeo shares some anecdotes about his previous adventures with Alonzo. Knowing his habits, Joel realized that Alonzo must be in the United States, not Mexico, and he turned the truck around. In the afternoon, Lilia was taken to Contreras, who offered her 2 million pesos to help her find Alonso. At first, Lilia refused, but then Contreras threatened to ruin her reputation and arrest her, so Lilia agreed on the condition that she get exclusive coverage of the extradition. They swayed and Contreras tried to kiss her, but Lilia quickly pulled away. A few seconds later, a mysterious car started following her. Lilia noticed this and decided to go into a swimming pool to abandon her car and tried to escape by going into the women's locker room. The guy followed her inside and showed her his badge, but a woman called out to him and told him to leave. At the base, Valencia puts the zombie pig in a cage and another soldier approaches him for a closer look. Ignoring Valencia's warning, the soldier stuck his finger into the cage and was bitten by the pig. Valencia takes him to Snowman, who orders him and his assistant to tie him to a table without touching the wound. The infected soldier trembled for a while until he died, but after only a few seconds he woke up as a zombie. Meanwhile, Alonso and his team watch another video of Lilia requesting an interview, in which she assures him of his safety. Lucas says he believes her, so Alonso calls Lilia and tells her he will do the same. Then, Alonso gives Lucas a big surprise, 4,444 drones of his own. Lucas liked it even though his father had forgotten he had given him one before, and he promised not to let the drone get past the fence. However, Lucas still sat on the fence and eventually dispatched the drone anyway. After a few minutes, he lost signal so he left the center to find the drone, and when he got close enough to find the image, Lucas saw zombie soldiers running around. Speaking of zombies, they found the group from the beginning and jumped on each member to kill and feed. When Cruz approached the pregnant woman, she hesitated and gently touched her stomach, killing her in turn. At the same time, Noballs also left the center to free a messenger bird, but Alonso spotted him in the act and shot him, killing the bird in the process. Later, Alonso retrieves the message and confirms that Noballs works for the Apostles. 
Terrified, no balls began to run away and Alonso followed as he continued to shoot but eventually lost him. The group hears gunshots and comes to help, telling Alonso to let them pursue no balls so he can return to his son. Meanwhile, Dog realizes Lucas is gone and goes looking for him. When Alonso returned, he found the house empty so he used binoculars to find Dog and gave chase. Lucas sees the transformed smuggler and talks to him from afar, but when he realizes how scary he is, Lucas throws a rock at him. This only causes the zombies to go crazy and start chasing the boy, but just before they can catch him, the smuggler is shot by Dog. Alonso hears the gunshot and runs in that direction while Dog follows Lucas, but the zombie recovers from the shot and attacks Dog. A fierce fight begins between the two men and Dog is bitten, so Lucas tries to distract the zombie with a large rock. Just as the smuggler turned his back on him, Dog took the opportunity to finish him off with his knife. Dog then told Lucas to run away so he wouldn't see him transform. The group finds no balls hiding among the trees and opens fire, but the no balls are fast enough to run away and lose them. Finally, he returned to the center and tried to escape through the tunnel. A gang member follows him there, but no balls hears him and hides to attack him by surprise. After some difficulty, no balls kills the guy and moves on. A few minutes later, he met the soldiers and opened fire, but he failed and the zombies still approached him. Returning to Alonso, he finally finds his son, who takes him to see Dog. They assume the man is dead so Lucas approaches him and closes his eyes, only for Dog to wake up and attack. Luckily, Alonso reacted quickly and killed him with a few shots, calling him a traitor. A crying Lucas corrected him, explaining to his father what really happened, but Alonso did not believe him. They then met up with the group and returned home, unaware that Cruz was watching from afar. In the lab, Snowman studies the bitten soldier, who has nightmares where his body floats and transforms while surrounded by crazy pigs. As his body begins to tremble again, Snowman injects him with another serum to stabilize him, expressing excitement that he has finally become a perfect soldier. Valencia does not approve, and after they leave, the soldier reveals that he has red eyes. Meanwhile, Joel stops the car so Romeo can go to the bathroom, but he also pulls out a gun and threatens Romeo, reminding him of their agreement. Romeo becomes sassy so Joel beats him and pushes him into his truck until Romeo tells him all about Henry and they agree to go to his house. At Mexico's international airport, Lilia arrived dressed as a nun, but Contreras and his associates could tell it was her. When she was alone, Contreras caught her and reminded her not to bother him or he would make her disappear. He also touched her inappropriately. After letting her go, Lilia told the guard that a man was bothering her and the guard kicked Contreras out, but her comrades were still there. Sometime later, at the lab, Snowman brings Murdoch in for a demonstration. He ordered the soldier to move his fingers, and when the soldier ignored him, Snowman electrocuted him, causing him to comply. Snowman then wanted to demonstrate his new strength, so he gave the soldier a tennis ball to destroy. The soldier broke the ball and the table, frantically hitting Murdoch before Valencia shot him dead. An ungrateful Yeti goes crazy because it's the only human specimen he has, so he asks them to bring him another one, pointing out that the pigs probably formed a group. At the rehabilitation center, Alonso began to feel a lot of pain and learned that he had been injured when Dog attacked. While his men treat their wounds, Lucas draws the zombie that attacked Dog, explaining that he sees more of these monsters on his drone screen. Alonso orders his men to capture the people Lucas sees, thinking they are spies. Later in Texas, Lilia arrives and Henry comes to pick her up. He took her phone and blindfolded her before leaving, but when they reached the street, he stopped the car and grabbed his gun. It turns out Contreras' partner has been following them all along, so Henry has a plan. Lilia lay in the middle of the road and pretended to be unconscious, so when the police stopped the car, Henry suddenly appeared and hit her with his own car. He then pulled the police officer out of the car and killed him, which terrified Lilia. In the desert, Cruz formed his own army by rounding up transformed immigrants and his group faced off against Becerro's group. Cruz attacks him and begins to bite him, but flashbacks of the urge to go to the bathroom invade their minds as they fall to the ground and finally enjoy the struggle. In the evening, Lucas watches over a sleeping Alonso when he hears screaming outside. He looks out the window and sees a mysterious figure so he takes Alonso's gun and goes outside to shoot, but discovers that the figure is a formed dog. Lucas Lucas ran inside, but seeing the child was enough to remind him of his memories of his role as guardian. Not wanting to hurt Lucas, Dog decides to commit suicide. Meanwhile, two members of the gang continued to search for the so-called monster and heard a noise, but they found nothing on the road and left. It turns out he is a zombie calling his friends to inform them that they know how to find Alonso. Essentially, Murdoch reminds Valencia that this mission doesn't exist and that no one should know about it. Valencia then leaves with two other soldiers to begin the zombie hunt. When they reached the desert, they saw three people walking around around and chased them thinking they were zombies, but in reality they were illegal immigrants who started running away thinking the border police were there. Chase them. The soldiers returned to the truck and tried to pursue them, but they ended up hitting something. It turned out to be a zombie that attacked immediately. Valencia managed to escape, but her teammates were all bitten, so she returned to the truck alone to escape. Meanwhile, Joel abuses his power to rent a helicopter and makes the salesperson
person ignore the fact that Romeo can fly but doesn't have a driver's license. However, they are still not allowed to leave at this time so they sit together in the waiting room and Romeo reminisces about four years ago. Romeo and Alonso are hiding in a motel and while Romeo is distracted by his powder, Alonso goes out and makes a deal with the police. Soon, the police come to arrest Romeo, and as the memory fades, Romeo realizes that one of the policemen is Joel. Enraged, Romeo wants to kill Joel, but the police officer only reminds him that they must work together to stop Alonso. On the way, Henry and Lilia find themselves stranded because their car breaks down. Lilia insists that they use her phone, but Henry refuses and announces that they will walk. Suddenly, a car passes and stops when the driver, a priest, sees Lilia, and, thinking she is a real nun, he offers them a ride. Returning to Snowman, he performed an autopsy on the walker and discovered that the soldier had developed a second heart. Enthusiastic about the potential of winning a Nobel Prize, he photographed everything. The next morning, the hunter group members stop the car to check something on the road and suddenly find themselves surrounded by a random zombie and a dog, still alive. A fight starts and one guy quickly gets bitten, so his friend kills the zombie before fighting dog. After some effort, he manages to tie up dog and throw him into the truck to take him to the center, where Alonso looks at Lucas's drawings of all the zombies. Alonso comes out and sees dog's body shaking even though he's missing part of his head and they assume it's caused by the apostle's new product. When dog tries to bite him, Alonso makes him stop by pressing on his brain, but Lucas comes out and asks his father not to hurt dog because he is still a good guy despite all the noise. Growl. Alonso did not believe it and asked his men to put dog on his horse. In the desert, the bitten gang member wakes up as a zombie and is found by soldiers who ask him to guide them to a rehabilitation center. Meanwhile, at the lab, Valencia reported everything she saw. Murdoch can't believe the zombies killed the trained soldiers and decides it's time to kill them all. Snowman objected and asked to keep at least one, threatening Murdoch with the end of his career, but Murdoch was not afraid of him. Back at the center, Lucas tries to communicate with Dog, but the zombie doesn't understand him and tries to attack him. Lucas runs away just in time and goes to Alonso to convince him that Dog is not an animal and that he is suffering, so Alonso says that maybe killing him is the right thing to do. This makes Lucas wonder if Alonso killed his mother to end her suffering, and when Alonso's silence confirms this, Lucas runs away in tears. Alonso gives chase, and after hearing his son scream in frustration over losing those close to him, he gives the boy his gun so he can protect himself. While the zombie soldiers approach the center and Joel and Romeo eventually leave by helicopter, Lilia and Henry remain in the car with the priest, who drinks too much and rushes Lilia. Henry throws his bottle away, and they end up discussing ghosts, only to be interrupted when a zombie appears on the road and starts climbing on the roof of the car. Henry recognizes him as one of the gang members and shouts his name, but the zombie rushes through the driver's window and bites the priest. Lilia fights for control of the steering wheel, and the zombie tries to pull the priest out the window before the car takes off, eventually crashing within seconds. The zombie continues to fight the priest and eats him, which the rehabilitation center's guard sees and calls for others to help. Henry tries to get out of the car and open fire, but then the zombie jumps on him. Before the bite occurs, Lilia arrives and takes out the zombie. They then checked on the priest, but he was dead. Soon, Alonso got in his car and took them away. When they return to the center, Henry takes better care of Alonso's wound while Lucas continues to attract the zombies. Lilia wants to know what's going on and again, Alonso blames the new apostle product for it. However, Lucas points out that all the monsters they've seen so far have been bitten so it's clearly spreading like rabies. Alonso silenced him and a frustrated Lucas told his father that he deserved to die before leaving the room. Meanwhile, Snowman, Murdoch and his team go to the desert to find the body of one of the soldiers Valencia lost the previous night. It turns out he died from a stray bullet and was not infected, so the body was useless to Snowman. Troopers searched the area and noticed an abandoned car nearby and gave chase. Returning to Lucas, he took two old walkie-talkies from his room and gave them to Dog, telling about how they used to play together. He throws one and Dog picks it up as memories flood his mind, but he suddenly destroys the toy and begins struggling with the chain. When Dog finally broke free, Lucas had no choice but to shoot him before collapsing. Alonso heard the gunshots and ran to comfort his son, but was momentarily interrupted by the arrival of the helicopter. As they prepare to land, the duo sees Becerril, who picks up a large rock and throws it at the helicopter until it begins to fall and fall. Then, the the zombies roared into the sky and ran towards the center, where Becerril gave strategic orders for his attack. As the zombies jump over the wall, the gang members rush out and open fire, having difficulty killing them because they don't know where to shoot. Smoke from the helicopter and gunfire were noticed by Murdoch's group, who began moving toward the center. Romeo and Joel were okay, got off the helicopter and encountered three zombies so they opened fire. 
They quickly killed the priest and a soldier, but the gang member escaped. A zombie dodges the guards to sneak into the house, so Henry, Alonso, Lilia, and Lucas flee deeper inside. Lilia reveals that she has a second hidden phone and begins recording while the monster soldier checks Lucas' room. Hidden behind the teddy bear collection is Alonso, who is trying to shoot him. However, the zombie sees him and drags him against the wall. Alonso makes him let go by shooting him again, and they both fall through the glass door as Lucas escapes and shoots as well. When another zombie chased him, he had no choice but to run away and leave his father behind. He tries to hide under the table, but the zombies see him anyway. Luckily, Lilia finds them and kills the zombies with precise shots. Lucas then took a closer look at the body and realized that the zombie had two hearts like an insect, so Lilia took a few photos. At that moment, Alonso joined them and after scolding Lilia for recording everything, he took them away. Henry also fights a zombie, and after a few shots, he covers the zombie in liquid smoke and sets it on fire, then hits the wall with a chair to push it off the wall. No Balls zombie fights against his old friends as memories continue to overwhelm his mind, but that doesn't stop him from killing anyway. Cruz and Becerro went hunting together as a happy couple while another soldier also entered the house and fought a gang member who had left behind a grenade before hiding in the bathroom. The zombies simply threw grenades before attacking the man, only to stand still and walk away when Becerro called for him to join them. Alonso, Lilia, and Lucas try to escape through the back door to find another zombie. Alonso's shots are unsuccessful and a fight ensues, but Lilia accurately shoots the zombie and gives Alonso the opportunity to kill him. Lucas also takes a closer look at this and points out that their weakness is the cerebellum, not the brain. The trio then went inside. Right after that, Joel and Romeo also entered the house and split up to look for more land. Joel ignored the corpse and instead stole a bottle of wine, then suddenly heard the voices of Alonso and the others so he rushed into the room. Alonso pulls out his gun but can't shoot because Lucas runs to hug Romeo, and before they can say anything, Joel also appears with a zombie behind him. Everyone shoots and kills the zombies in minutes, but now the three men are stuck in a Mexican Mexican standoff, so they agree to a truce for the time being. While Becerra and Cruz continue to sneak out, Murdoch's truck bursts through the front gate and the soldiers begin moving toward the house with Snowman reminding them that he needs at least one living body. A zombie soldier appears but ignores orders, so Valencia and his group open fire while ignoring the Snowman's protests. Murdoch then used a loudspeaker to try to contact those inside, causing Becerra and Cruz to hesitate with several smoke bombs in hand. Inside, Henry and the only remaining gang members join Alonzo's group. This guy admits he's a spy sent by the apostles, but Alonso decides not to kill him because leaving him to the zombies would be a worse punishment. As Alonso's group tried to reach the exit, Cruz and Becerra threw a gun through the front door and raised their hands in surrender, their crowd doing the same in the back. Soldiers surround them and Valencia contacts them, knowing that they want Alonso. He hears this and decides to take the group on another escape route, but Alonso won't let Joel go with them. While the group escaped through the back door, Joel returned to the apostles to make a deal. On the surface, Becerra appears to have quite good speaking ability. He said they weren't animals and they weren't dead. Then he gave the signal and the gang activated the smoke bombs. The soldiers open fire blindly, but the snowman reminds them not to harm them and the zombies flee into the hills. Meanwhile, Alonso takes his group to the guardhouse, where it is revealed that there is still one more gang member, and together they remove the tunnel cover so they can escape. The group fell down and the last one was Alonso, who suddenly had a zombie jump in and bite his arm. Alonso shoots him to eliminate him and then also goes down the tunnel, closing it behind him. He hides his wound from the others and they rush back to Mexico, unaware that there are still pigs waiting for them in the tunnel. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.